Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived. Uh, one more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see to switch in prayer line on this uh, <clears throat> tenth day in December twenty twenty one. Patricia Johnson, good to see you on. Shalom, shalom, Yakawan in the building. Elder Yosef in the place to be in battle. And my beautiful mom and my niece, uh, Johanna, my little brother, uh, Matty Yahoo, Dawson the building, Kim Yana, what's up with the JB, Jeff Brown, holding it down as usual. We got Melissa, family up in here. We got Al Mal, my pal, <coughs> up in here. We got Stone, Stone is on. Mayors, that's more than one mayor. You understand me? You understand? I saw that Benz, man. Congratulations. That joke is chunky, too, Mr. Mayors. <clears throat> Thank the most high. Hallelujah. Who are for you? Y'all is getting the word. We're doing the, we're doing the, um, we're doing the, uh, the, the, I just saw a battle up in here. Trenda. Trenda's up in here. Pray y'all getting some, getting some spiritual food out of this Romans series. Romans 8. Romans 8. First, first, uh, Romans 8, first verse. Look what it says. Remember, <clears throat> we was on a cliffhanger. Don Dean, good to see you on. But we was on a cliffhanger because the word disclosed, right, that he was schizophrenic, like, with, 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 he was serving the most high with his mind, like most of us do. You got a lot of, oh, it gets so deep. It's just hitting me. But you got a lot of people. See, it's a thin line between saint and ain't. It's a thin line between saint and ain't. And, and I want to be strategic, strategic as the most high reveal this to you. I just want you to hear that. But back to my point, <clears throat> Romans 7 disclosed how we're not under the law. And we're divorced because we're married to the Messiah. Y'all with me? Peep game. Listen, so so um, he was describing having the desire to serve the Most High, but not doing it. And his conclusion of his spiritual condition was that he was doomed. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? You got people that don't obey him, don't do nothing he say. And in Catholicism, they, they preach you into heaven anyway. And it don't work like that. The cold part about it is it almost do. But let's see. It almost, I understand where they're coming from. It's just perverted because they don't walk in. Oh. Anyway, I'll get to it. Listen, <clears throat> but that was the cliffhanger. He then said, okay, Brianna, good to see you on. He said, okay, I serve Yah in my in my um, inner being. In my mind, I want to serve Yah and obey him. But with the law that's in this fallen nature, I serve sin. I sin. <clears throat> Watch this. Now we start in 8 and 1. Look what it says. It says, <clears throat> There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the Messiah. So the first move is you got to be in the Messiah. You got to be. You can't be in Buddha. You can't be in Gandhi. You can't be in this energy and doing yoga, sitting in front of Gahan's box, doing Buddha beat. You, none of that. It has to be the Messiah. Are y'all with me? Oh, I'm just a positive person and start burning some sage. No, uh-uh. No. No, you entered into the spirit realm illegally through 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 darkness. I'm telling you the truth. Young Shari Taylor, good to see you on. Uh, Mr. Alhock in the building. Are y'all with me? 
There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah and him only. But it went on to say, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let, let me show you something else. I'm going to try to teach y'all, but let me show you something else. If you look in the NIV, let's read the first, let's read the first uh, verse. <clears throat> look what it says. Like. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in the Messiah, because through the Messiah, the law of the spirit who gives, who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Um, let me tell you something. <clears throat> you know what part that that skipped? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the Ruach? Do you know <clears throat> how misleading that is? McElhannon, what's up, man? Long time. Good to see you on. But you know how, do you know how deceitful that is? Because that's Catholicism. They took that out. If you look up the origin, if you go to biblehub.com and you look in the in the linear or in the Greek, um, the original, it was it's there. Who walked not in the flesh? If you look in the NIV, they took it out. Do you know how much of a change that is to the scripture? You got to understand this. <clears throat> There's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in the Messiah. Because that's it. The, the KJV says, there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. It, that's why people believe all they got to do is accept them. And then they can live like the devil. Oh, I'm trying to teach you something. <clears throat> Understand what I'm saying to you. <clears throat> Listen, I wish I had more time. I really can't dig into that like I really would if I had more time, so I got to keep teaching. But I hope y'all caught that. Don't think just because you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart you saved, and now you can live in sin and it's good. You don't believe that. It's who. It's a, it's a, out of all of us that accept the Messiah as master of our life, there's going to be a certain demographic that walk away from the flesh because that's the requirement. Because the majority, unfortunately, is going to accept him and they still going to live in their flesh. They still going to be screwing, lying, cussing, cheating, hating folks, holding grudges and doing whatever the heck they want to do. And, it, and it's tricky moves from Hasetan, the fallen angel, spirit of darkness, to get you to believe that you can rock with him without obeying him. And it just don't work like that. Are y'all with me? There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh, but, but after the Ruah. Hold on, y'all. Apologize, y'all. I got to be more prepared, right? Who who walk not in flesh but after spirit? Look what it say. For the law, the spirit of life, which is in the Messiah, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Listen, for the law of the spirit. Look, walking according to the word, because the spirit is the word, y'all. For the law of the spirit of life. The spirit of life is the word of Yah. There's a law. There's a law of the spirit. What's the law of the spirit? Eternal life. If you want eternal life, you got to walk according to the word. For the law of the spirit of life. Where is it at? In the Mashiach. What was in the Mashiach? The word was made flesh. The word was in the Mashiach. For the law of the spirit of life, which is in the Mashiach, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Sin has a law. What is it? Death. You live a life of sin, disobeying Yah, you're going to die. I'm not just talking about spiritually dead. 
Because whether you knew it or not, we were born dead. We were born with the sinful, fallen nature of Adam. That's why there was a second Adam, the Mashiach, to give us life. Are you with me? Third verse, for what the law could not do, here we go again. Folks want to hold on to the law? Well, listen what it can't do. For what the law could not do in that it was weak. Why was the law weak? Through our flesh. <clears throat> Why was the law even given? Was it given to save us? Or was it given to expose our sin and show us we needed to be saved? Tira Banks, Beverly, good to see y'all. Are you with me? For what the law could not do, y'all didn't say give you the law and say, oops, it didn't work. Nah, he knew, he knew what it was. We didn't. Yasharel, Israel didn't know what it was. It, 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 the law came to expose, right? To expose your sinful. To expose why there's death on earth. It came to reveal people was dying. Why? The law showed you because you you you're wicked. You're a sinner. You don't you don't follow. You're not like your creator. Thereby, you're dying because you're not like him. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. Elsa, good to see you on. Look what it's saying. Mendoza. Look. For what the law, for what the law could not do, and that was weak through the flesh, through our sinful nature. What what's what 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 messed it up is our sinful nature. Right? Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Born of Miriam. He sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Where did he condemn where did he condemn sin? In our natural human nature, our fallen nature. That's where sin lived. Before, before we accepted the most high, the, the Mashiach in our life, listen, sin lived in us. That's when somebody came to you. And gave you the gospel, you were able to be uh, um, uh, pricked in your heart, filled with regret of how you've been living and treating the most high. I hope that's what happened to you. Because if that didn't happen, you don't even have him. <clears throat> but look, 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 for what the law could not do, and that was weak through the flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. That's where sin lives. If you want to get away from sin, you got to get away from you. Some people didn't get away from themselves. Some people are going to do how they feel. The words say this. Nah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. <laughs> That's people. What it say? Nah. Nah, I ain't ready for that. I'm not there yet. Y'all heard me teaching about that? I'm not there yet. That means that's the politest way, you know, to tell y'all, man, I ain't listening to you. You ain't telling me what to do. I'll do I'll do it if I feel like it. And if I don't feel like it, I ain't doing it. Stay away from them. Nah, uh-uh. I like the way they make me feel. Nah. That's the weed, man. You think I ain't think I'm going to stay away from him? Please. And I ain't got no money. It's my partner. Listen. <clears throat> For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh, of a sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Right? What did the fourth verse say? That the righteousness of the law, what's wrong with the law? Nothing. It was righteous. What, what part of the law we want? We, we want the word off the stone. We don't want the stone. We want the word off of it. That, that's the righteousness of the law. The righteousness of the law is the most high said it. And whatever the most high say is right. Are y'all with me? We, we don't need the, the, the carnal commands. The word on stone don't work. Why? Because of the stone, which represents our flesh. The fallen nature of Adam. That's why in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, he said he's going to lift it off the stone. Place it in our hearts through the Ruah. Oh, man, listen. 
For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Didn't it start off with that, the part they took out? Those that refuse to live following their evil desires, following their natural nature. Are y'all with me? You with me? That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Good reference, uh, Johanna. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. The righteousness is the words that was put on stone. We don't want to stone the hard-headedness, the rebellion. We don't want to we don't want that part. We want the righteousness of it. Is it right to love Yah and not to uh 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 serve other Elohims? Is it right for us to rest from sin, the fourth commandment? Is it right for us not to defraud one another and steal from one another and kill one? That's right, that's the righteousness of the law. And when, when, when the Most High baptizes his spirit inside of you, you receive that. Now you can receive that and then ignore that and still obey your flesh, your evil nature. You could if you want to. That's why he said, choose you this day who, who you're going to serve. You can do whatever you want to do. Everybody on the sound of my voice has the ability to do whatever you want to do. You heard what Yah say do. You already received him. You already accept him. So because of the power of his spirit being baptized inside of you, you have the ability to obey him. It's going to make you flesh man. It might cause you to be lonely. It might cause you to uh, be um, feel left out. It's a little different to the flesh. Yeah. It's a little tough being sober during time during trying times. So your flesh might be a little upset. Right? But the way of eternal life is to obey, obey, obey the most high. Uh, Paquita, good to see you on. <clears throat> Don Hawkins, good to see you as well. Listen. Here we go. Four first. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh. We don't obey our flesh, but after the spirit. We obey what Yah say, even when it's uncomfortable in our flesh. Tia, good to see you on. Pull up a chair. Fifth first, right? Look, for they that are after the flesh, listen, for they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh. Um, to, to get a little deeper, I'm not going but people, I understand us looking at that scripture like obey your evil nature because it's true. But if you get the revelation that the stone represented Yah's word on on stone, <laughs> real talk. Yah's word on stone isn't good for nobody on so many different levels. And that's the commandments. Because the, when the commandments came uh, in the seventh verse, Paul says, sin revived and I died. <clears throat> because the requirements of the law wasn't in him. He couldn't do it. This is talking about the law as well. Whenever you hear the term flesh, it's primarily talking about religion, being being religious, having spiritual talk, but not a spiritual walk. I can't get too deep into that right now. But it is us denying ourselves, but it's also denying a solution that's religious. You remember? We, we read that too, saying that the Gentile found Yah because they sought it through believing him, through faith. And Yashorel didn't find him because they was trying to find him through the law. Listen. <clears throat> Fifth verse, for they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh. But they that are after the Ruah, the spirit, the things of the Ruah, right? <clears throat> For to be carnally minded is death. Y'all hear that? Look up carnal. It means natural minded. It means the mind we were born in. The way hum humans are a fallen species. That's why we do wicked stuff. Because we're fallen. We're not righteous. We're used to it because we're humans. But we're, we're not righteous. Jonathan. Jonathan. Good to see you on, little bro. Are you with me? 
For to be carnally minded, natural minded, normal minded, the mind of a human is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. We weren't spiritually minded. We were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Yeah. Seventh verse. Because the carnal mind is enmity. If you look up enmity, it means hostile. It's hostile against Yah. Because the carnal mind is hostile against Yah, for it is not subject. You know how you tell somebody, come here. And they're not subject to what you're talking about? Man, get up out of here. I ain't coming nowhere. <laughs> no, I ain't coming. They're not subject to what you're talking about. Nah, I ain't doing it. Because the carnal mind is enmity, hostile against Yah. For it is not subject, it won't bow down. Don't do that. We do it anyway. That's a certain state of mind. It's a wicked mind. It's the mind we were born with. Yeah. And the Most High trying to rescue you from you. From your stinking thinking. Yeah. The law couldn't do that. Yeah. But if you, for the believer, he rescues you from the law. And now you're in a one-on-one -on -one relationship with it. That don't mean that you don't have to assemble and that don't mean you raising yourself, but you definitely have a personal relationship because if you have a personal relationship with him, you'll be raised in a, a part of an ecclesia. Uh, anyway, so much for that. <clears throat> because the carnal mind is hostile against Yah, for it is not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. So get a revelation of the impossibility of you having salvation even reconciliation with the most high through the carnal mind, through the mind that you're your own boss. You notice how, and we'll get there in a minute, but you notice how Romans 10, when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you'll be saved for confession is made on the salvation and with the heart, no, for, for with the heart, one <laughs> believeth unto righteousness. Why am I butchering this scripture? And I quote it all the time. For, for for with the mouth, confession is made on salvation, and with the heart, one believeth unto righteousness, even though I might have said it backwards, but that's it, right? <clears throat> so, what was I saying? I couldn't even quote the scripture. Let me go back to this. If it come back, I'll say it. Because the carnal mind is enmity, is hostile against Yah, for it's not subject to the law of Yah, neither thee can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah. When you're in your carnal, natural nature, you cannot please Yah. You cannot do it. Because you're going to disobey Him. Because the impossibility of our carnal nature to obey Him. That's why, again, it said, uh, for what the law could not do, and it was weak through the flesh. The, the law couldn't present us blames before Yah because of our evil nature. So the only thing the law can do for us is show us that we're sinners. It's going to prove you're a sinner. Yeah. Eighth verse. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah. Nine. But ye are not in the flesh. Did you hear what it said? Look at the beautiful accusation that he said to us. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Y'all hear that? We're not in the flesh. You know what that means? That means if my flesh tell me to go against Yah, I ain't doing it because I'm not in the flesh. The flesh don't, don't control me. Well, that's why in, in Romans 12, James 1 and 12 says, uh, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Right? Your flesh is tempting you to go against Yah. Blessed is the man that endureth. I ain't, I ain't giving in. For when he is tried, when he is tested, him or her shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised to them that love him. And if you love him, do what he say. I'm trying to tell you. Listen. Ninth verse. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yah dwells in you. If. Now, if any man have not the spirit, the Ruah of the Mashiach, he is none of his. You got to be filled. You would have had to one day repent it, turn from your way to follow Yah. Yeah. Everyone hasn't done that. You got people that go to church. You got people that assemble with believers. But they haven't denounced their sin. 
like apologize for their sins, accept, accept the Mashiach as master of their life. Not only savior, but master. People don't mind him being your savior, but folks don't want him to be their master because they want to be their own master. They want to do what they want to do, right? But if you've done that, <clears throat> then look, knife earth. But you are not in the flesh. Why? Because you denounced it. You repented. You turned. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of Yah dwells in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of the Mashiach, he is none of his. And if the Mashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin. If the Mashiach, y'all know the Mashiach's anatomy is the word was made flesh. The Mashiach was human filled with, 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 with the word of Yah. It was the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. Y'all with me? So if, if the Mashiach be in you, that means the word is in you. Tiferet. If the Mashiach be in you, then the body is dead because of sin because now you're going to obey the word. And the word was made flesh where the, where, where, where the flesh died. And what came back to be baptized inside of us was the word. Now it's written on the tables of your heart. According to Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, are you with me? If the Mashiach be in you, the word of Yah be in you, the body is dead because of sin. Now you don't obey your human nature no more. You obey Yah. And the human nature be mad as I don't know what. You can re you can refriend the flesh and denounce the word if you want to. I'm out of here. You know, have you heard that before? Have you did that before? Oh, I'm out of here. You met somebody. So nice to you. You've been so lonely. Now you met somebody. You like Phew. the word gonna have to wait. <laughs> I've been waiting on this for too long. <laughs> the word gonna have to wait. Folks selling their soul. That's when you need Catholicism. You need. I'm a sinner saved by grace. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Listen to me. Is that my sis on here? Why my big sis look younger than me? Jackie, the queen on here. Love you, girl. <clears throat> Listen. 11 verse. But if the spirit, the ruah of him that raised, Listen, this deep. Anyway, but if the spirit of him that raised up Yahushua from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up the Mashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by, the, by his ruah that dwelleth in you. If the spirit, see, I do. I want to. I probably ain't got time to get into this, <laughs> but this is so deep. I want to say it. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it the fastest I can. How much time I got? <sighs> anyway, it says, "Watch this." <sighs> Back to nine. I just want to show y'all, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it, <laughs> Jackie. But look, <laughs> but look, um, I'm gonna speed through this just to show y'all this. Ninth verse, but, but you are not in the flesh, but in the Ruah, in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yah, who's dwelling in you? The spirit of Yah. The spirit of Yah is dwelling in you. If so be that the spirit of Yah is dwelling in you. Now, if, the, if any man have not the spirit of the Mashiach, I thought it was the spirit of the Most High that was in, in us. Look what it says. But you're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yah. Dwelling, it's the spirit of Yah dwelling. Now, if any man have not the spirit of the Mashiach, I thought it was the spirit of Yah. What? The spirit of Yah is the spirit of the Mashiach. It's not two. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. He is not of his. And if the Mashiach be in you, I thought it was Yah that was in me. Look, if, this, if, if, if Mashiach be in you, then the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him, this is deep, but if the spirit of him that raised up the Mashiach, what did you just say? Who raised up the Mashiach? Is it the spirit of Mashiach or is it the spirit of Yah? But if it's, it's the, Yah, didn't the Messiah say, tear down this building in three days I'll raise it up? The Mashiach raised up the Mashiach. Don't get it twisted. Because it ain't number one. Folks be thinking it's two. Some people thinking the Trinity or three. Y'all got it twisted. But I just want to show y'all that. So I'm going to work from 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up the Mashiach from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up the Mashiach from the dead shall also raise you, shall also quicken, quicken me to make alive. Quicken your mortal bodies by his Ruach, same spirit that dwells in you. Are you with me? Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you're going to die. This is the time for us to plead our case. 
because not only is major famine coming and they hitting us with major disease, all man-made, but they hitting us with famine. <gasps> Excuse me, y'all. They, 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 the party's over. They tan up America, real talk, with people's cooperation because they don't even know what's going on. People still trying to get their chips right and find a lover and do they doing themselves, but don't know you about to be damned for eternity. I'm just telling you real what real talk. All these variants and all this stuff they creating. <laughs> I I can go on about that. I don't want to get too deep. But this place is finna go to war. And to be honest with you, it's not gonna win either. And to be honest with you, it's all designed. You're being weakened to lose. You're being, the economy is being collapsed to lose. And they stick in you for a reason. <clears throat> Straight up, it's diabolical. I'm not trying to preach fear. I'm telling you the truth. And the, our only refuge is to be with the most high. And that's real talk. <laughs> ain't nothing, ain't nothing, that, hey, it's old. You're right, Trenda. The war already started. It's just the slickest war, one of the slickest wars fought ever. Because people don't even know they're under attack. <laughs> For Anyway. 13th verse. For if the spirit... For if ye live in the flesh, ye shall die. But if you, but but if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of Yah, they are the sons of Yah. Okay, so what that told you, everyone talk about I'm a child of Yah. If 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 you obey Him, you are. Because if you if you don't, you're not. Even though people say it, but you gotta obey it. Look, I'm gonna read it again. 14 verse, just get straight to the point. For as many as are led by the Spirit of Yah, they are the children of Yah. That's just raw facts. 15. <clears throat> For you have not received the spirit of bondage again on the fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, which cries, Abba Father. Uh, he's our father. Look, we, we receive the spirit, the, even though we're surrounded with chaos. We have a peace and a security. Let me try to take some of that. Uh, we're supposed to work on our soul salvation with fear and trembling, which is true. But that doesn't mean that people don't make mistakes. And I'm being honest when I teach you a scenario like um, you're only expected to be do the work of a third grader if you're in the third grade. That, that happens more so in the spirit. When, when you're in the third grade, you can be perfect as a third grader. Now, now, if you're in a third grade and you're doing the work of a first grader, then you're not perfect. In other words, what you know to do on a third grade level, you should be doing it. You could be flunking as a fifth grader. You could be flunking as a fifth grader, right? At Because you're in a third grade. Compare the work from the third grade to the fifth grade, you'd be flunking. But yet you're walking in perfection when you walk as a third grader. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. There's a certain level of maturity even if you sin. You can apologize and keep going. I'm telling you the truth. And be walking in perfection. People could see you do something wrong. On one front, you don't even know it's wrong, but they judging you and they don't know you like that because they're religious. <clears throat> you got to, I, I gave a scenario, like I said, um, someone just coming to the most high, they denounce all sin and they're very serious and they receive them as master of their life, right? Then all of a sudden, so they say, I want to be baptized. You say, okay. So you take them and you baptize them and they come out of the water and say, F yeah, F yeah, God, I'm saved, S, woo, and somebody looked at them and said, ooh, they got the spirit of the demon, no, they do not, no, the heck they don't, real talk, they saved it to you probably, for you even looking at them like that, tell you the truth, they don't know what you know yet, but what they do know, they accepted them and they received them, oh, I'm trying to tell you something, let me finish teaching.
That's so deep if you really pondered it. Once they learn that they shouldn't do that, and then if they know they shouldn't do that and they fall, they can get up. Because that's what the Bible teaches again. A just man falls seven times, but get up. It's the wicked that fall in the mischief. Wicked folks leave y'all and they don't want to have nothing to do with it. They done. But though, come on, you didn't messed up before. I know I have. Spider, come on. Anyway, <clears throat> listen. I just want to get some more of that freedom. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption. He adopted us. He sealed us with his spirit when he baptized himself inside of us. Whereby we, we cry, Abba, Father. In the times we're living in, as wicked as it is, we're crying out to our Father, our Abba. Rescue us. Simultaneously, why are you saving me from me? I need a rescue. This place is wicked. We need to be rescued from this place, these wicked people that's running the world. That's not letting the fool come to, to port. You know how many... They stopped, they stopped the food from coming to port. Yeah, they, they were forcing farmers to burn their crops. Some of them that didn't, all of a sudden start committing suicide. Please. They did, though. Suicide, ah. Yeah. Folks have been doing well because it's not flu season. They pretended like a variant is coming. They, they want to hit you in the winter. They're coming back with something. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to talk to you. Listen. So the 16th verse then says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yah. He baptized his spirit inside of us, and we agree that we belong to him. Well, that's good stuff. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yah, and joint heirs with the Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that, that we may be also glorified with him. So now it comes to our evil nature don't agree. So we're going to have to be willing to suffer to agree with Yah. You're going to have to walk in self-denial. Right. Or 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 you're going to miss it. You, you you don't belong to him. You I just told you I just been falling sometimes and get up. There is a get up about us that's Whoa, you thought pretty cool. Jason and them. Oh, Jason, uh, that's that dude. He just kept coming back. Oh, didn't he? Did he come back? How much more? Uh, we're going through it. I have to try to teach it, but we're going through a transformation process, and it's a real transformation process. I'm not trying to uh, preach sin like that's acceptable, but I will. I'm, I told you about the third grade. You don't have everything right in the third grade. More expected to you when, of you when you get into fourth grade. And again, you can be perfect as a third grader. Then you expect to be perfect as a fourth grader. You don't do what the eighth grader do. You just don't. And if you compare yourself to the eighth grader, you're going to condemn yourself. And if the eighth grader is living the way they're supposed to, they know better not to look at you and condemn you because they're doing more, different, better because they're older. And they're, ah. I'm just trying to tell you. 17 verse then says, if children, then heirs, heirs of Yah, and joint heirs with the Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, you got to be willing to suffer, that we may also be glorified with him, right? Let's look at what the 18 verse says. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yah. People are waiting for us to stand up and represent Yah in this wicked world, right? For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. In other words, we wouldn't be going through this if we could help it. But it's like, it, ah, I, I'm, I'm going to say it, but I'm going to put some more on it. For, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Uh, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into glorious liberty of the children of Yah. Okay, let me give you that. What that's saying is the stuff we go through, we don't want to. But I promise you, it's producing righteousness in you. It's, it's causing you to, it's um, the shedding of the wickedness we were born in hurts. It's like being born again. Okay, this world is being born again. <laughs> and, 
and it, and they don't like it. And we're a part of the born again process. This place is wicked, but there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. That's what that's talking about. That's the birth of the new. Out with the old, in with the new. And in order for that process to happen, we're going through like birth pains. So, so this place is in chaos. Well, we were born in sin. We're in chaos too. But we're going through a transformation process. The believer is going through a transformation process and it, and it hurts. I, I like sleeping around, but it hurts not to. I like getting drunk, but it hurts not to. I, I like, I whoop your dog. What you say? I, I can't do it. It hurts to be to go through the transformation process. Is loneliness in it? Is is being despised in it? Is depression try to creep up on? All kind of stuff is attacking you because you're going through the transfer. That's what Romans twelve was talking about. Uh, he was begging us to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable on the yard is our reasonable worship. And be not conformed to this world, be transformed, the transformation, right? Transformed by the renewing of your mind because we got something to prove what's good, except in the perfect will of Yah. How does it look to go through the birth pains of being born? I tried to tell you something. Listen, let me go back to the scripture. Okay, so 20 love you. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yah. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together unto now. Listen, 23rd. I'm going to have to hurry up. I'm really going to have to hurry up. I didn't know I was this far. What time is it? Don't tell me I have to do a part two. Ah! Let me see how much. Yeah, this is uh, it's way more. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to give y'all part two to this. <laughs> hey, hey, Jackie, you know I know. Hey, you relentless. That's why you've been successful in your life, though, real talk. Because you ain't no quitter. Feel me? You know what I mean? You quiet, too. You kind of just do it. You do it pushing. Rolling alone, too. So, no, we ain't quitting until, look, we not quitting until he come get us, you hear me? That's just the bottom line, period. You know, real talk. So, uh, the, the, I, we'll pick it up next time. I apologize, y'all, I just ran out of time. That, that's what happened, I ran out of time. Uh, uh, bless every last one of you, let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, homies know how. Uh, gleaning in the truth of your word, walking in your ruah, continue the transformation process. We absolutely uh, love love you. Forgive, forgive us for our sins. Even we forgive those who sin against us, right? Because we know you're not going to lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, we love and thank you in the match name of Yahushua. We only pray hallelujah, Hua and Amah. That was the lesson uh, for the day. We're going to get into uh, Romans 8, part 2 um, next time. Continue to pray for one another. Of those of you that's brewed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button. And uh, if you, um, again, support this ministry, I say thank you. You help us do what we do. We ain't going nowhere until they come get us. Is that all right? Y'all want to talk about the lesson? You can. All you got to do is dial 302 202 1102, extension 815648. 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Is that good? Y'all be broke and Brock Shalom. I'm gone.